So down in the mechanical room, uh, Jonathan was discussing the heat recovery ventilation system that's providing all the fresh air exchanges for this house. Um, and I just wanted to take you up and show you the supply register in the bedroom where the fresh air side of that um, is getting delivered to all the bedrooms. And uh, one thing I can't stress enough is how the quality of the ventilation is different than necessarily the quantity. So um, in some houses, one of the ventilation strategies is just to run an exhaust fan uh, continuously to ex exhaust the pollutants out of the house or moisture out of the bathroom. And, uh, but there's really no um, accounting for where the fresh air um, is coming into the house from the outside to dilute the pollutants and provide fresh air to the occupants. And with the um, HRV system, we're able to uh, put fresh air in all the bedrooms where we want it and uh, supply that air in a tempered fashion because we have the really high performance heat recovery core uh, that's taking uh, the energy from the exhaust air and transferring it to the supply stream. And so we have constant condition tempered air that's consistently mixing throughout the house and then it's getting pulled into the exhaust areas which I'm going to show you here shortly. So we're back here in the master bathroom and here's uh, one of the exhaust ports that's connected to the HRV system. So in the bedroom uh, we're supplying fresh air from the outside that's been filtered uh, and then in the bathroom where we're generating moisture, uh, odors uh, and also in the kitchen of the home we're pulling air out in a balanced fashion. So for every cubic foot of air that goes up and out that duct of fresh filtered outside air that gets tempered by this same energy that's from this air leaving, uh, comes in through the bedrooms, washes through the house, and goes up this exhaust here. And the great thing about that is we're getting constant mixing of the fresh air. We have really low um, pollutant and particulate counts because of that constant background air exchange that we're getting in the house. Um, and if we find that the, the low flow um, rate that we have set in the bathroom isn't adequate enough, we have a booster switch here, uh, which allows us to access the different speeds and it also has a timer. And so if you need an extra boost, uh, the HRV will ramp up. It will increase the ventilation rate of the room and the whole house in general. And then on the timer setting, um, after the timer has been satisfied, it will kick the, uh, the HRV back to its low speed and then we'll still continue to get the background ventilation in the bathroom. So any water droplets that are left on the shower, or on the floor, or on the towels, that'll all continue to get um, exhausted out of the home 24 hours. And so there's really no mildewy or wet smell in the bathrooms and keeps the house really fresh. And so uh, that's one thing you'll notice when you go into a passive house or any house that's built really airtight and has a really high quality ventilation system is that no matter what the time of the year, no matter how windy it is outside or what the weather conditions are, it always feels like a window is open and it always has really fresh, um, clean air. And so, uh, and then that ultimately means people aren't using more candles and fragrances to try to cover up odors because you have this clean, fresh air. Um, and so uh, people are less likely to add more pollutants and contaminants to the house. And so you get a really um, high level of indoor air quality and that's what we're shooting for with Passive House.